Hello everybody, my name is Patrick, I'm a drone engineer at Arc Electronics in Salt Lake City, Utah and I'm on my way to Singapore to participate or hold the PX4 uh, ROS2 Area Robotics workshop, hands-on workshop uh, with some other uh, drone code members from the community. Uh, we're gonna show you uh, how to use ROS2 with PX4, uh, how you can use it in the simulation and also how you can uh, bring these concepts to a real drone. This is going to be a very hands-on exercise with a lot of examples, so I'm looking forward to have you there. Uh, beyond that, I'm representing ARC, so I'm going to carry a couple of ARC airframes with me that you can have a look on, and also some uh, ARC hardware components that you can uh, and check out. Uh, if you don't come to the workshop or won't be at the uh, Roscon at all, no worries, the workshop is open source, so it means that the repository is available online, so you can go ahead. I think we put some pretty good readmes out there, so you can uh, check it out and then get all that material. If you have any questions, please let us know. And this video, I'm just gonna uh, quickly walk you through what you can expect, and uh, beyond that, if you're watching this video later on, uh, what's the take-home message from it. So, uh, yeah, let us begin. So, as I promised, Roscon 25 workshop, that's what we are going to present in Singapore. Hands-on area robotics using PX and ROS2. Um, ben and Ramon and me, we are looking forward to see you all there. The basic outline uh, is to give you an idea about what PX4 is, how you can interact with PX4 using ROS2, then how you can do some custom behaviors. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The repository is totally open source, so you can utilize it even though if you're not coming to the workshop. So please feel free to go ahead and learn all the concepts. Um, yeah, after some introduction to PX4, we are gonna uh, look at a couple of uh, examples, and each example has uh, some exercises. So I encourage you to do those if you cannot. The solutions are provided. The outline of the day is just some introduction to PX4, then we are going to check out Ben's uh, pretty cool environment that he provided us. Then we are going to do some uh, comparison between offboard and custom mode, the two main ways how you can interact with uh, PX4 using ROS2. And in the afternoon we are going to check out the examples I was talking about, straightforward Aruko market detection uh, in simulation, then teleoperation using your keyboard in a maze, um, once we are done with that, we are going to go uh, to precision landing uh, using a camera in the simulation and then we use some collected waypoints to do precision landing in a maze. And this is pretty much the outline of the examples. After that, we are going to do some discussion and open lab. So, I'm looking forward to see you all in Singapore and then uh, learn about ROS and PX4 together. If you cannot make it, I would still encourage you to go ahead and then check out this repository and uh, learn these basic concepts. For most of the exercises, I've already made some tutorials on the ARCS GitHub channel, otherwise uh, you can refer to those as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and ask us on Discord, and then I hope that you can uh, learn from this. And yeah, so if you're in Singapore, please uh, try to catch me, and then uh, we can talk about some cool drone stuff, I can show you some cool uh, ARC hardware that I'm going to take. And yeah, I'm just looking forward and I hope that you can learn from this video or from the workshop. So see you there or see you virtually and then all the best. Bye.